Hi, my name is Maria Adcock, and I am a parent at Washington Primary School. Today, I'm going to be reading you a book called Hongbu and Nobu by F.B. Smith, illustrated by Monse Vallejo and Jale Kuang, a folktale in English and Chinese. This is a Korean folktale that the author adapted, meaning she made some changes to the original version to make it a little more modern. All right, so let's begin. Now, this book is written in both English and Chinese, as I mentioned, but I'm only going to read the English portion. Once upon a time, there lived two brothers. The younger brother, Hung Mu, was kind and generous. The older brother, Nobu, was greedy and ill-tempered. They lived with their father, who liked fans. One night, their father suddenly became very ill. Hungbu wept, but Nobu hoarded his father's favorite fans into his knapsack. Nobu shouted, this house is all mine now, and chased his brother out of their home. That wasn't very nice. Hongbu built himself a straw thatched house while Nobu spied on him. Hongbu married a kind woman and grew a family. They often lacked food and went hungry. That's why they're crying, because they're hungry. Please, lend me some rice for my hungry children, Hongbu implored his brother and his new wife. If I give you my rice, what do you expect me to eat? He looks very angry. Rice! Rice! Here's your rice! Nobu's wife slapped Hungbu's cheek with a ladle. Hungbu picked the grains off of his cheek and said, If you slap my other cheek, I can take more rice to my children. Nobu's wife wiped the ladle clean and slapped Hungbu's other cheek. That was not nice at all. A cold winter passed and spring came. Two swallows built a nest Hungbu's tree, in Hungbu's tree and I gave birth to baby birds. When a snake slithered towards the baby swallows, Hungbu saved the birds, but one fell and broke its leg. Poor birdie. Hungbu treated the bird's leg. You see, he wrapped up his broken leg to try to fix it. The bird recovered and come fall, the swallow family flew to a warm climate. The next spring, the swallow dropped a seed onto Hungbu's yard. The seed sprouted a pumpkin so large it reached the roof. When the pumpkin was ripe, they could already taste the pumpkin porridge. But what in the world spilled out of the pumpkin? This is going cur cur burr. 
because they're using this giant saw to break open the pumpkin. So let's see what's inside. Rice, soybeans, fish, fruit, cookies, coins strung with rice stock, and gold sparkled in the sunlight. Well, that was a nice surprise. Did you hear what happened to your brother? Demanded Nobu's wife. Envious of Hungbu's fortune, Nobu looked for an injured bird to bandage. Finding none, he climbed the tree and he pushed a baby swallow out of its nest. Well, that was really mean. Nobu nursed and injured the injured bird back to health. In the spring, the swallow came back and dropped a seed onto Nobu's yard. The seed sprouted a pumpkin. Oh, look at that birdie. Does that bird look happy or mad? He looks kind of mad to me. So I wonder what happens now. Nobu impatiently cracked open the unripe pumpkin. He could already feel the gold coins between his fingers. But what in the world spilled out of the pumpkin? Whack, whack, whack. See, he's using the hammer to crack it open. Instead of treasures, a fierce wind blew Nobu's home far, far away while angry fans smacked, spanked, and poked him. Look at all that. Mm -hmm. The greedy man and his wife found themselves with no place to live. Did you hear what happened to your brother? asked Hungbu's wife. Hungbu visited the homeless couple. Nobu deeply regretted his actions. So he felt bad about what he did. That's what that means. A few days later, Nobu taught his nephews and nieces how to fly a kite. With a healthier father, the entire family enjoyed a pumpkin, kite, and fan festival. Oh, look, they're all so happy now. The end. So I hope you enjoyed this book, Hungbu and Nobu by F.B. Smith.